Let's do this. Hey, we got a new show for <laughs> y'all. Got a damn good show for y'all. But for a start the show, remember, you can always support us at officialhardtwins.com to yeah. keep that conservative movement going strong. Yeah, and it keeps our lights on. All yeah. right, let's get to the point. Tell the damn discount code first, man. Oh, yeah, we got a discount. We got a sale going. <laughs> 20% off. Use discount code SURVIVAL because we just survived the Chinese virus. 20% off. Survivor. Survivor. All right. Um, no, what just a... survive. No, Survivor. That sounds bad. Shut up! <laughs> Come on, man. Let's, let's start the show, man. Let's talk about this damn mayor, man. Mayor de Blasio. You're supposed to be the mayor of the best city in the United States. What, what are you talking about? What? He's supposed to be running the best city. New York City, man. Well, who that's says what? it has to be the best? It has to be. That's, that's New York City. That's where a lot of tourism. Well, it's, it's New the, York City, man. It's one of the biggest cities. You're the mayor of one of the biggest cities. Not the best city. It should be the best city. Why? It's got the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, it should be. Should be, man. People, when they come to this country, the first thing they see is Statue of Liberty. Man, this is the greatest country in the world. Yeah. They got the Statue of Liberty that y'all ran by tyrants. Yeah. Liberals. Well, they don't like to be called liberals. They like to be called progressives. Y'all know why they um like to use that term progressive? All he doing is copying the Republicans, copying what we doing. Oh, they got Republicans and they got conservatives. We only got liberals. I know what? We come up with something. Let's call it progressive. Yes, it got a better ring to it. Yeah. They got conservatives. We got Progressive. Yeah, and it's nothing progressive about Democrats. Y'all are regressive. <laughs> progressive. Y'all pushing all these ideas. Socialism? Pushing all these ideas that's never worked anywhere. Progressive. Uh, communism. High taxes. No free speech. You can't protect yourself. You can't own a gun. Yeah. You get <laughs> progressive. <laughs> you can't even defend yourself. <laughs> you, you got a gun, you're going to jail. <laughs> hey, okay, let's, okay. What we're going to discuss today is Mayor de Blasio. Thank God, man. 2020 is over, man. Yeah. But uh, Mayor de Blasio, you know, didn't shut that city down. You can't go to work because of COVID, Chinese yeah. virus. Think of that, everybody. You can't go earn a living. You can't go to work because your local government says no. Yeah, it's too dangerous for you. <laughs> a virus is 99% survival rate. Think about that, liberal. Think about that, lefty. You can't go out and... Just enjoy freedom of just going to a job and bringing home a paycheck, buying groceries, Fold. putting food on the table. Yeah. Going out, having a good time. They told you you can't do that. And you're cool with that. For a virus, it's 99% survival rate. Yeah. And, um, you know, it was New Year's, and the mayor, the governor, no congregate. <laughs> it's a virus out here. It's spreading. It's going to kill everybody. Yeah. So, they shut down Times Square. But what does the mayor of New York City, de Blasio, do? He goes down there. It's all empty. He's down in Times Square dancing with his wife to Frank Sinatra. <laughs> New York, New York. I mean, come on. I'm not the brightest candle. And I know that was stupid. You, How out of touch you have to be. You just told your local citizens, your peasants, <laughs> to stay home. While you go downtown, you have the city to yourself, and you're dancing with your wife? You think that was a good idea? Did he even tweet that? Yeah, the mayor's office tweeted this. They thought this was a fantastic idea. How does that make you feel, Lefty? They you can't go downtown and celebrate the new year. This but is a perfect example. Like, they're pushing all this socialism, which leads to communism. Right. I mean, this is a perfect example of communism. <laughs> Rules for thee, not for me. This dude is... It must be nice to go downtown in New York at Times Square with your wife. You didn't order everybody out. You got the city to yourself. If you're on the left, y'all don't see nothing wrong with this. Well, you know what, man? That's the biggest problem, man, we have, man. They don't even realize it. They're just brain dead. Well, it's they, like they look at it from this point of view. Oh, man, look, there's our mayor. Oh, look at his wife. She's black. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, she, she's black, huh? Yeah, I think she looks African-American. Well, she's blacker than I am. <laughs> now I'm black. And you know what the lefties was probably said? Oh, look what courage they have. We have a global pandemic going. And look, they're dancing for us. With his wife. Wow. What such a great guy. And his wife is a person of color. 
Yeah, and this is dancing, beautiful. And he's showing how brave and powerful that how how we should be. Look at him. He's not dancing for him and his wife. He's dancing for us. Yeah, that's what he's doing. What a great man. I don't even feel sorry for the people of New York. I yeah. really don't. You know what pisses me off? What? They'll eventually get tired of this state. Yeah. They'll run to a red state, and they'll vote for the same politicians that they're running from. Yeah, it's like a cancer, man. It starts off here. There's a tumor right here in New York. Yeah, metastasis starts to spread all over the United States. Yeah, metastasizes goes all over the place. I mean, that's a rough and it's a horrible analogy. I'm not joking about cancer, but that's yeah. what's going on. These people leave this, these states. They don't agree with what's going on, and then they go to a red state and turn that state blue. Vote for the exact same idiots that they running from. Yeah. Makes no sense. Absolutely none. It's infuriating. <laughs> it drives me crazy. <laughs> Why the hell are you coming here? Won't you stay there? Yeah, stay there. <laughs> Do not leave. And you know what's... I mean, I mean, let's talk about what his wife was wearing. Did y'all catch the symbols on her mask? Now, this is, I'm going to show y'all something that's from the FBI website. I'm not saying this. The FBI is saying this. Yeah, the, the, this symbol here uh, signifies that to pedophiles that you like little boys. That it's okay. I know what's up. You and the little boys. Yeah, that's just a symbol for little boys. Then now, again, we're not saying this. This came out by the FBI. This is so don't put this on me. Yeah, this is law enforcement. Yeah, this is law enforcement. These are the experts when it comes to pedophilia. Yeah. They have already marked this symbol. It's a symbol for a lover of young boys. Right. Now, look at um, de Blasio's wife's mask. If I was a pedophile, <laughs> I would go up to say, hey, where the little boy is at? Because that's how they talk to each other. Yeah. A pedophile sees that, ooh, she's got the little boy symbol. Yeah. Man, I want me a little boy. Let me yeah. go holler at her. That's why they, they have symbols so they can yeah. communicate without getting. Yeah, typically how it goes down, you're wearing that symbol. You have kids with yeah. you. They know you have kids. Or at the very least, they know what's going on by looking that symbol on your shirt, your hat, your mask, or wherever you're wearing yeah. it. They approach you and say, hey, what's up? I'm down. I like little boys, too. Yeah. That's what that symbol represents according to the FBI. Now, some people are saying this could be a mistake, right? She didn't know any better. Yeah. I mean, but how many people have, have you seen with making a mistake of walking around with a mask on with a swastika on it? Wow, really? This is the Nazi symbol? Oh, man, I did not know that. I'm so sorry. She's the wife of the mayor of New York. Yeah. Right? You're supposed to be You have up a on sex this. trafficking problem. In New York. In New York. And y'all so out of touch, you're going to go downtown in Times Square, and after you didn't clean all the damn stewards and the peasants out, you're out there dancing, and you out there wearing a damn mask with a symbol that you like little boys? How out of touch are you people? Let me say something else. The governor of that damn state, <laughs> Cuomo, right? This dude, a few weeks back, yeah. They was trying to uh, mandate masks, and the, the sheriff in one of the cities there, yeah. in one of the towns there. Said he wasn't said, going to enforce it. He said he wasn't going to enforce it. The reason why he said he wasn't going to enforce it, because he, he slew that damn sheriff. Man. Yeah, because he felt that was unconstitutional. Thank you for your service, brother. Right? So the sheriff just didn't want to enforce that. What does Cuomo say the governor of the state of New York City? That man said that sheriff was a damn dictator. Do you know... What the definition of dictator means? I mean, your definition of dictator, I don't think that's what it means. I mean, this is what a dictator is, Cuomo. <laughs> the two things is unconstitutional. It's not right. Yeah. They take it's, away people's freedoms. Yeah. Like they can't, they don't let them go to work. Yeah. Make them wear masks. That's being a dictator. That sheriff is upholding the Constitution. Yeah. This is what y'all are working with in New York. Yeah. The governor and the mayor of New York City. Yeah, that's, that's the people y'all elected. I mean, the only thing I can really say about this, maybe these people in this state are not that naive. Maybe they got that Democratic machine in here in their elections. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, we've seen what happened. Well, recently. you can't say that. You can't allude to I'm that. I'm just saying. Don't even say the F word. You can't say yeah, that. Yeah, I can't say it, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Are these people really that stupid? Yeah. I'm sure a lot of them are. And I'm thinking, I'm a majority, you know, every time there's an election, it always go left out. So I'm thinking, well, I want to think maybe the people on the right just gave up. Or maybe it's just, you know, like you were saying, maybe something's fishy is going on. 
Yeah. But who I knows? Sh- but it doesn't look good for you, New York. <laughs> I mean, just put those two together, Cuomo and de Blasio and his wife, <laughs> with that symbol on her. I mean, these people are so out of touch. They're not very bright, or maybe they are very bright. Yeah. Maybe they know what's going on. Maybe they're flaunting in our face. I yeah. don't know them personally, but I do know this. He told everybody they couldn't congregate during the during this celebration. <laughs> they're downtown dancing. His wife has got the symbol for a lover of little boys. Cuomo is a damn dictator himself. He told you you can't work. You can't provide for your family. Yeah. Put all that together. Think, Lefty. Think. I know you have a brain. You have at least two brain cells. Why do you people keep voting for these people? Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all hate Trump. Why? Because the TV told you to hate Trump. Yeah. Y'all hate the man that wanted to give y'all two thousand dollars a month. Yeah. And and y'all was happy with the six hundred dollars. These damn uh, Democrats was going to give you so they could send millions of dollars to other countries, not yeah. to the American citizens. Yes. But y'all hate the man that wanted to give y'all $2,000. I mean, how smart are you people? <laughs> I don't think so. I, where there's smoke, that's fire. I see a big, big raisin inferno of stupidity Yeah, all over this country. Lefty, if you want help, you have to help yourself. You have to educate yourself. Educate yourself about these people. These people do not have your best interest. Wherever there's smoke, there is fire. (laughs) I love that figure speech. Wherever there's smoke, there's fire. (laughs) There's smoke all over the place. Your shit is fitting to burn down. Y'all need to start thinking for yourself. Be objective. I mean, I still listen to people on the left, but the... The only reason why I listen to them now is just to just to hear how crazy they are. They don't make any valid or, or great points. They I have can't... no policies that's going to make this country better. Yeah, I can't believe the mayor of New York City went down in Times Square. Dancing yeah. with his wife. With, it. with a damn mask on. Yeah. With... There's nobody there but you and your wife and another couple. Why are you wearing that damn mask? Yeah. And... Are y'all even a couple? Are y'all really married? Why are you wearing masks? Yeah. Are you virtue signaling? And then, yeah, that's exactly what you're doing. And then y'all film it. And then y'all was like, I got a great idea. I'm going to tweet this out. That's <sighs> not a good idea whatsoever. But at the very least, it's not a good idea to us. We see it. Yeah. But people on the left, they don't see it. Oh, my God. This is cool. Look at this. The mayor. I voted for this guy. He's got the whole city to him. They got a black wife with him. They dancing. Yeah, Together. person of color. Man, this country is moving forward. Wow. What can I get with those masks? All the little funny triangles? Those look <laughs> cool. <laughs> Rules for thee, not for me. Communism. At the very least, that mask is sure. That damn mask she's wearing, she should be a Big time red flag. She should come out and make an apology. I would like to know where she bought that damn mask. <laughs> yeah, she needs to come out and make an apology. To let everybody know where she got the mask because you can't just find that mask anywhere. You can't go to Walmart and get that mask. <laughs> you got to go to a special place to get that mask. Hey, I want to say this. Imagine if the mayor of uh, New York City was actually a Republican. Mm-hmm. Let's say um, he was Republican. I was trying to come up with a Republican uh, <laughs> person. What the hell are you talking about, man? Shut up and listen. I'm trying to explain myself. Let's say the mayor of New York City was Republican. Ain't going to happen. If if he did this, the media would eat his ass alive. Yeah. But the media, what are they doing with uh, de Blasio? They covering for him. Yeah. If this was like one of Trump's kids was the mayor of New York. Yeah. Oh, my God. (laughs) If that was Trump Jr. down that day. With a damn pedophile mask on. (laughs) With a crack pipe hanging hanging out his pocket. Oh man, it'd be frontline news. But hey, Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, yeah, got crack Mayor De Blasio, pipes. Cuomo, they all get a pass. Yeah, mainstream. Pelosi media. when she went to go get her hair did, the, that at that moron in California, Newsom, yeah. they get a pass. Nobody says anything. Yeah. Man. The reason why I make this point is because that's why the president started that that saying fake news. Right. Because he's trying to short the American people. Because a, a lot of American people, they believe what they see on TV. Yeah. These people are not out there trying to spread good information. They have an agenda. Or to cover they, facts or to give you the knowledge about what's going on on both sides. Yeah. The, me, the news media is just propaganda for mm-hmm. to push a narrative that they're trying to push. 
Yeah. That's that's what the media's role is now. It's not to inform the people. Their goal is to make everybody in the white, white supremacists. Their whole agenda is to turn this country into a socialist society. Communism. That's what they're pushing. Yeah. That's what they want. Yeah. And until everybody on the left wakes up, until everybody on the right starts educating their friends and telling them what's really going on, this country is doomed until we start standing up and educating the people of this country. Yeah. All countries. All great societies fall, not from, from people from outside. It's always within. And these people mm. inside our country right now are trying to ruin our country. Damn pedophile mask. <laughs> in broad, in front of everybody. And how could you not know that? Yeah! That was a damn good show! Yeah!